Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian. Maybe we should turn up the speed. didn't know you had one of those, right? Well, I'm here today to talk to you about Space Quest 4. Now, we all know and love Space Quest 4. It's the uh, timeless Sierra classic of Roger Wilco's epic struggle to not get himself erased from history and also to travel through time and create an awful lot of paradoxes in doing so. Now, Space Quest 4 was the two guys from Andromeda's grand old fuck you to the rest of Sierra for making them crank out Space Quest games non-stop ever since the first game became a hit. And it shows. Uh, much of Space Quest 4 is spent evading traps you couldn't possibly anticipate, precipitated by the ever-present in-game timer. Now this thing is practically the prosecutor, judge, and jury of your success in the entire game. This is how it works. Every so often, and by that I mean all the fucking time, you're put in a position where you have very little time to do something. And normally that would be fine. But most players have played the CD-ROM talky version of this game. This seems to be a relatively spacious landing gear compartment. Wonder how cramped it gets in there when the gear is towed. where for some reason some genius decided to reprogram the entire SCI engine, the lifeblood of the game, to where the timer wasn't dependent on some measurable increment like minutes or seconds, but rather the speed of your computer. Yes, this means the faster your computer is, the harder the game is. And nowhere was this more evident than the dreaded Skatorama sequence, which occurs about halfway through the game. In this, Roger is supposed to evade the sequel police, who are out to erase him from history. And to do this, he must escape across a zero-gravity uh, skate rink, occupied by, well, let's be honest, the blood, sweat, and noble tears of many a frustrated player. Now, in my old days, as the Space Quest FAQ writer and all-round gentlemanly scholar of the internet, I used to be able to beat this thing in my sleep. I could literally fire up Space Quest 4 at any given moment and just breeze through the skaterama like it was this morning's first urine evacuation. And yes, this was ten years ago, but I bet I could do the same thing right now if I tried. Let's try. Well, maybe it's worth a try. Okay, your goal here is to steal the time pot that the sequel policemen leave behind. Now, to make the sequel policemen appear, you have to be wearing pants. If you've never played the game before, this is probably one of the more bizarre sentences you've ever heard, but yeah. Once you're wearing pants, enter the arcade and then walk around the corner. This will make the sequel policemen appear. Now, dart out of the arcade without them noticing, and then proceed along the moving walkways. Further... Further along... Now, Walk down the stairs here, and then quickly head out into the rink and float up into the upper dome. Well, maybe it's worth a try. Well, maybe 
It's worth a try. Wait, let me see if I get this straight. Um, I move up, and then I get shot at, and then he spins around in a circle, and then I survive. Now what's happened is that the game thought I was getting hit by another Zero-G skater, so it was playing the uh, I got hit animation while the sequel policeman was shooting, and, for some reason, while that animation was playing, I hit the exit box that made me go through the roof and up into the, uh... This doesn't really matter at all, does it? Now, once you're up here, the fun's not over. Your goal is to get back to the arcade and steal the time pot from the sequel policeman. This means you have to go all the way across the skate rink and then back down. Now while you're up here, a uh, floating policeman will try to bring you down. Check out the windows in the background. They actually form a grid that trigger when the policemen appear. Once you get up into the upper dome, go left and then trigger the policeman, and then float down, exit, and get right back to- Oh, fuck you! Oh, you piece of- Right. Once that's done with, you can safely head out of the Skaterama and up and steal the Time Pot and fuck this. Fuck. No. Screw this shit. The powerful quad quark drives Rev to life. Time and space bend under the fibrillations of the time rip transfluxers. Your adrenaline and stomach reel with the hyperbolic hyperbole. And finally, finally! This is Roger. This is Roger on Ortega. Any questions? 